Welcome everyone to Simpit Academy. Today we look at the most exciting episode yet, which is um, Pass Through Mixed Reality. This is like the, uh, the holy grail of flight simulation, where we have the beautiful three-dimensional virtual environment. But at the same time, we can see our physical cockpits, our panels and switches, so that we can press them and not use mouse clicks and keyboard. So it's intuitive. It's the best of both worlds. So there are certain VR headsets out there in the market right now that can enable pass through. Um, the cheapest one or one of the cheapest one is the Quest I think the Pico can do that too I'm not sure how good it is the Quest 3 pass-through is decent enough it's okay it's not super high resolution but it doesn't have the price tag of like Vario you know four or five thousand dollars so at the moment I think this is um, great so there are four things that we need to use um, to have the effect the virtual desktop application that can combine both <clears throat> and then the open eboard is to draw this pink uh, shape that you want to pass through then obviously helios for all the instruments and then this yes so right now in this year's many aircrafts i think the falcon f-16 uh, viper the a-10 they can do proper mft uh, in vr the f-18 can do it too for the mfts or what they call the ddis in vr however the instruments like um, the IFI and the RWR are like this transparent with the VR environment. For the F18, F15E is the opposite. All instruments are not transparent, which is good. They have the dark background, but all the MPDs, the three MPDs here, you see, they are displaying the VR environment. <clears throat> so most of the time it's not readable because it's, the background is too bright not to mention distracting when you move your head the background moves you can see your VR environment mirrored inside so um, that's not good and I've tried in Helios to change the background color and do all kinds of editing um, to the script it doesn't help there's no fix for it at the moment so i look for other options the number one is this chroma track overlay this is a hand tracker so we see the mpds in vr and then when you move your hand it passes through for you to press the the buttons around the mpd this will be the perfect solution however this is purely for steam vr and some people have been able to run steam vr but i can't when i do microsoft flight simulator and dcs via steam my fps drops from 33 to 3 okay and i've tested this like 10 times it's consistently like dropping by 10 times so anything steam is not workable for me and this developer um, is a Japanese guy and he stated very clearly that he has no plans to develop for other platforms. So next, we also have the famous reality mixer. A lot of people on YouTube have been showing this, but um, it is also not working for me because it's on Steam. So next, we have the recent um, 
application color pass color panel this is a microsoft flight simulator only mod so is the latest one the sim xr so all these are not dcs not available for dcs all right so we have to use open eboard so in 2d is like this in vr is like this but when you combine it with um virtual desktop okay the magic happens so let's see first the virtual desktop you have to buy it from oculus store not steam i have the steam i already bought it from steam but that one will not work you need a different one from oculus store okay so that's the first one and you want to connect it to wi-fi or you have um the link um via cable that's also possible as long as you have wi-fi you can connect then you're fine so you also want to install this app um the vd streamer app on your pc okay and have this running this will talk to the virtual desktop app on your vr headset in the quest okay i i don't know if it works for other headsets but for the quest it works so under streaming you also need to come here and configure this enable the vr pass through click on this and i'm using the pink okay red 255 blue 145 so this combination so this is already as you can see this is like in virtual uh, desktop view so this is the icon in quest so don't launch steam vr okay this and then we will make dcs run in open xr more and more people are abandoning steam vr uh, and run things on open xr because it just runs so much faster so here dcs you want to add this line here including the space okay uh dash space dash 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 force enable and then force open xr so you edit you right click and then uh add this line to the end of your dcs exe okay whether open beta or the the normal dcs will so you add that so whenever you click on it it will run via openxr so this is how your three screens will look like in vr the main desktop instruments and the ufc screen so if you don't do that sometimes even though you are looking you're wearing your vr headset right and then you run dcs and it launches DCS as a window, as a flat window that you're looking in your VR headset. So this is not gonna work, okay? So you wanna make sure it, um, it runs in VR and what helps, it's not guaranteed, but what helps is to add that line, this line, force open XR, okay, to make it run. So, now with your helios setup if you have multiple screens like mine if i start this first by the time um dcs is launched in vr sometimes i cannot click the menu here somehow this on display prevents me from clicking it so what i do is i stop okay the profile here from running and then i start the mission then while this 
mission loads, which takes time, takes a few minutes. Then I just click start again. All right. Then the UFC and the instruments will show on my second and third monitor. Okay, this is the workaround that I have um, discovered. So, you see, this is a three dimensional, like 360 view, right? Compared to this, is like a window uh, in VR mode, a flat window. So, when you launch this, if you have OpenXR um, running, you will see this white space. Okay, it hasn't loaded any mission yet. You will have this white space. So the shape with all these different tabs, right? You want to come here and it will do a pass through when the mission is loaded. So this is the correct thing that you should be seeing this year in the virtual three dimensional world. So in Open Kneeboard, you click on input, you have all this stuff, you can bind it to something like um, Leo Partner board, okay, some buttons or keyboard that you can quickly press. Alright, so I have this um, buttons that I created, this panel, so the tab will move up and down. Right, some of these may have multiple pages, so you I normally don't use the pages, just the tabs, and then click show will make this show, and then this is to center your VR view, this is to center your open kneeboard view. So this clicking this as you move your head, this thing here will move. All right, while you click on this, your VR uh, cockpit. Will move so you have to move both to align them every time okay it's a bit of a pain but um, a few tries and normally you can line up so in the VR setting here you click on this all right you will see this this will enable you to resize this um, kneeboard here okay um, you, you have to do it in VR okay after you are, you've started the um, you load the mission in VR then you click on here then this thing happens now you can this will become enabled and you can pitch you can resize it bigger smaller you can move it left right you can move it up down you can yaw you know rotate the thing you can tilt whatever so this is useful okay you set it once to your liking and after that um should be good to go so this is how it looks like if you have a shape like this okay so this here will be this here right then obviously the back here you can see further back your seat so here i try to curve a little bit um it's hard to get it aligned you have to move it so but you see the whole cockpit okay provided you move the tab this tab you move it to aircraft if you're in briefing whatever you see all this stuff this is like the mission right you have to tap and come to aircraft then only then you will see the pass through okay so I have a fully completed cockpit, right? So all buttons, everything is working, which is great. However, as mentioned, the MPDs, you see it's transparent. So as you move your head, it is usually too bright to read. So it becomes a pain, right? You see here transparent background for the F-15E. For other aircrafts, they are fine. So I've tried different shapes, okay, um, tried to cut out this as virtual, it's very hard to align, plus the DCS MPD, it's 
bigger than my physical Cougar MFT, right? So the virtual one is bigger than the real one. Then you, the cutout, see, this is the virtual one. Then this is a physical one. You cannot cut out. You If you cut out, you'll see too, too much. So first attempt at MR is perfect except for transparent MPDs. Second attempt was this. I align everything here except the MPD, but this is too. It's very hard to align this UFC, real UFC to the virtual UFC. Um, yeah, I don't like this result. As you move your head, um, sometimes it overlaps, sometimes it doesn't. So this shape here and this thing is for the MPCD. So anyway, this setup, um, I don't like it. Second MR attempt, the VR and pass-through stuff don't align very well, so don't like it. So you can also switch completely, hide the open keyboard, and then click on this guy, your virtual stick will disappear. Okay, if you don't want to see a virtual stick and a real stick, so this is how you do it. So another thing is sometimes as you play with all these views, you get stuck. You may not be able to even use the mouse to end a mission, uh, exit, whatever. Then using your quest controller, the left menu button, you click and click and hold and this virtual desktop menu will appear and then you click exit game and you will quit um, DCS okay or you couldn't get back to you are stuck in the pass through and the complete pass through and you cannot get back to DCS VR and you again press all the menu and you get this and then click here and you switch and you get back to DCS VR, right? So this is the final configuration. I just have this and I cut off. So um, the left and right console, I see them all the time and the bottom one, which actually these are just for show. So the top mainly for the MPDs, okay? A nice view of the MPDs. So the workaround is I see this pass through, I see this VR, everything that I want to press on the UFC and the gauges, the buttons, whatever, there is a fine line um, boundary, which I set here. I just lean forward a little bit and this VR view disappears and it passes through and let me see the the Cougar MFDs, the instrument, the physical switches, anything that I, I want to press, right? I press and then I lean back and I see the virtual. So this seems to be the compromise and the best um, solution that I'm satisfied with right now. Okay, so there you go. This is mixed reality. We can we can see and press our switches and we can enjoy the three dimensional 360 degrees world virtual world around us and playing DCS this way is uh really cool. Third MR in action, we see the bottom half pass through. Then I just lean forward a little bit, I can touch any switch that I need. Right? So enjoy the VR and lean again to change something. Whatever configuration you choose for mixed reality, whether it's the whole cockpit like this. Uh, preferably without problems with the MFDs, MPDs background.
um, whether it's the whole cockpit like this and then the VR on top or some VR for the cockpit and some pass through what whatever shape it's all up to you and it's up to your aircraft what we know for sure is as long as you have a headset with pass through camera like the quest um, two or three the pico the vario headsets like this with pass through and then we have the virtual desktop we have the open board as used here and then we use helios and we use dcs we can have the ideal combination of mixed reality you know pass through and virtual and not only that you see that besides dcs we can do falcon bms and racing games microsoft flight simulator so racing and flight seems is possible for mixed reality and within dcs this this combination will enable you to do mixed reality for any aircraft in dcs right i'm just using the uh, strike eagle as an example so this is exciting we can we can do mr for any aircraft all right thank you guys for watching